Hey, what is going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning into another video. And today I wanted to do a speed test on two hard drives that I recently bought. Right here is the Seagate Barracuda. It's a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. And on the other one is the Seagate Fire Cuda, which is, it's a two terabyte hard drive. And it is also an SSHD, which is a solid state hybrid drive. So I wanted to test them out. Now the reason I'm doing this test is because I have two very, very new hard drives here that I just recently bought. They just came in the mail. And this one, the two terabyte, I am going to install on my 2017 iMac. And this one is for class. So <clears throat> I just wanted to use them before I put any data on them. Uh, these are completely fresh. They are brand new. I have yet to put any data on it. This maybe has a few megabytes worth of data on it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't even think it even has that, but I just wanted to run the speed test on uh, fresh uh, hard drives. I am going to ask you now, uh, you know, if you'd like to see the video where I do uh, upgrade the 2017 iMac, uh, I'll make a video of it. I don't think I'll make a video of me upgrading the hard drive because uh, if you see my other videos, I do take this apart and there is a hard drive in there. It's a pretty simple task um, for somebody who does this like like I do, but I, I don't, I'm not going to make a full tutorial on how to do it or anything like that. Um, but I will do, you know, the speed test of, of this actual hard drive being installed and, uh, you know, checking to see if that, that hybrid drive, if it does, you know, have a good boot time so that is the goal of it and of course to have two terabytes worth of data right now currently this has a one uh, terabyte ssd which i will be selling to make up for the cost uh, because i think i will buy another one of these i do need new hard drives um, the oldest one i have is 2012 so that is definitely not good right now all right so what i am doing right now is i am going to get an enclosure now as you can see right here um, don't quite know what the company is, but it is a USB 3.0 with a type C connector, uh, hard drive. It's pretty easy. It's, uh, plastic as you can see. So I'm just going to slide in the hard drive. I'm just going to slide this over it and I am going to connect it here to a USB 3.0 extension. Uh, connected directly to the iMac. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the one terabyte Barracuda. Now I've actually had a little bit more respect on Seagate's hard drives uh, compared to Western Digital's and mainly because of the price difference. So um, Seagate, basically what I'm gathering is, is getting a lot more uh, reputation, way more at a very fast, uh, Ray uh, compared to Western Digital because they just keep bumping up their prices. All right, so I went ahead and, and connect that it connected the hard drive to the enclosure. So as you can see, it is in there. All right, so I'm going to connect the USB C and I'm putting this down and I am going to connect. As you can see, it is blue and I'm going to connect it to that extension cable. All right, as you can see, it popped up right here. I already named it Class HD for uh, the class hard drive that I need to have with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a Blackmagic disk speed test. So for those of you who know, obviously you have to select the target drive. So I'm going to select the target drive. And in this case, again, it's gonna be the class HD. Just click that and hit open. And it's already set for that hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and get the test started. Right now, it is not a favorable write, but you always give it some time. Let it wind up or let the cache 
you know, fill up the data or whatnot, whatever it needs to do, and it'll definitely give us speeds that we need. As you can see, the write speeds are going up. If we hit that 130 mark, uh, it is definitely a good hard drive. Again, these are brand, brand new hard drives. One I got from Amazon, the other one I got from Newegg. The two terabyte SSHD I got from Newegg. It was $90 with the $5 instant coupon. So no mail-in rebate and waiting 30 weeks to get your, I don't know what it is, a debit card or something like that now, or a check. But as you can see, their 130 write, 130 read on average is definitely good. For a two, for a two and a half inch hard drive, that is definitely good. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that right there. Let's go ahead and redo that so that way we can leave it at the write and read. That way you can, if you need to take a screenshot of it or something, that's definitely okay with me. All right, reads are not going as well, but they'll increase. All right, so we're just gonna leave it there. So 129.8, 130 uh, megabytes uh, write, and 131 read. Definitely a very good hard drive uh, if you're gonna upgrade a laptop or whatnot. Um, so, awesome. Now the next one is we are going to we are going to change out the hard drives. So I went ahead and ejected it. As you know, Mac always requires that you do that. All right, and I just have this untitled, and that's because I will be installing it on this iMac here within the next couple of days. But again, I will remind everybody to do subscribe to see, you know, more videos. All right, so I have it here untitled. Hit open, and let's go ahead and get that speed test started. So right away, the write speeds are really good. The read speeds are, are even better. All right, and I'm gonna stop it there. So read speed's 130 and a half, and that was very steady for quite a few seconds, actually. So I'm gonna just say 130 and a half. Uh, maybe it's a read and, or megabytes of read, and, or I don't know, megabytes, megabits. Um, you catch my drift, you know what we're talking about if you're watching this video. And the write speeds are very ident are identical, 138.4. So it is definitely something that I would highly recommend for upgrading your hard drives. Uh, I would follow the hard drive upgrade, you know, every few years. Again, I have a hard drive from 2012. Um, and then I did run a software that Mac has that shows you the lifespan of it and, you know, drive DX2 right here. And it, and it just basically uh, showed everything, you know, that's wrong with it. This is a drive right here for, for that two terabyte uh, power cycles two, power on time zero hours, and I have written a total of 8.9, but that probably is, is just the speed test that I'm running uh, right now. So I'm very pleased with it. I am highly considering uh, changing out all my hard drives to SSHDs, and mainly because I don't do much that requires a, a lot of uh, fast speeds through my hard drive. So uh, I'm considering that. Um, I do have quite a few SSDs and uh, if it's definitely worth getting all two terabytes, it has a, a ton of storage. Two terabytes is so much storage. I mean, uh, I mean, my NAS has two terabytes of storage. So definitely something to consider, but I hope this video helped you out. If it did, you know, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment uh, to see what other hard drives you think are better uh, than the Seagate 
Barracuda and Firecuda. And also subscribe so that we can see more videos like this. Share this video. Definitely would help the channel out. Uh, I hope to catch you in another video.